Hey there pranksters, welcome back, and just as the title says, in this video I will be showing you guys some clever ways to sneak some snacks and candy into the movies without getting caught. This video is for those of you who are tired of paying those high prices for food at the movies. Why do that when you guys can buy cheap, good quality snacks and sneak them into the movies and save some money in the process? But before we get started with these ideas, I want to announce the giveaway for this video. If this video gets 10,000 likes before November 30th, 2019, I will choose a winner from the comments and that person will get a brand new Nintendo Switch in the mail just in time for the holiday season. So if you wish to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is like this video and leave a cool comment below telling me which was the best movie you watched in theaters this year. Again, all it takes is a like and a comment, so let's try to get those 10,000 likes. I wanna give someone a Nintendo Switch this holiday season. One last thing guys, if you wish to do a one-on-one face-to-face -on -one -face meet and greet with me, click on the link below. I will be meeting up with some fans online and I hope you guys can join me. With all that being said guys, let's get this video going. Now guys, we all know that the drinks at the movie theater are a rip off. Yeah, they're good. I love drinking soda while watching a movie, but they are too overpriced way too overpriced so what i have right here are three cans of coca-cola which i do want to sneak into the movies now a good way to do that guys is for you to actually stack them up together like so and then hold them in place with some tape for example right here there's one there's another one now the second part to this to be successful at sneaking these into the movies is to actually put these inside a long sleeve so for example here I got my sleeves rolled up so I'm gonna roll them down all the way down so it covers the palm of my hand pretty much and at this point I can put my cans inside my sleeve like so and I did get the little cans of coke guys there are larger sizes out there but this is perfect for me so look at that guys all the way in and look from this point of view and at this angle even though my sleeve is tight, it still doesn't really show that I have the sodas down there. Huh? Obviously, at an angle like this, you could tell there's something fishy about it. But we're going to hold it at an angle as we walk into the movies. So walk like this, guys. And as soon as you get past one of the employees, just simply turn your arm and keep it at an angle. And they won't be able to see your cans of soda. So once you're in the movie theater, guys, just pull them out. And you can share with your friends. See, there's one for one of my friends, one for me, and one for the girl that I really, really like. So, three cans in one sleeve. Try it out. I highly recommend it. That way you don't spend too much money on something that is not worth $8. Look at what I have right here, guys. Some lace stacks, and these are hot wing flavored, which you guys know I love hot wings. Well. This, we're gonna sneak into the movie theater and we're gonna use the same method as we did with the sodas. Long sleeve, just tuck it inside. Simple enough, right? Same technique. But we're gonna modify this can of lace stacks. So we're gonna use this container to our advantage. I'm gonna point that out right now. This container of chips is gonna be our main tool. We're gonna open this up and yes, it still has its seal on. Oh no, my chips! No, they're all broken in there. What a tragedy. Wow, no, they, no, they really took some damage here. Dang it, Walmart! Anyway, we're gonna take some out. <laughs> what a disgrace. Let's take out all the chips, all right? They're really beat up, but oh well. They end up in the same place anyway, right? <laughs> so inside of this can, you can clearly see that it's empty. Okay, good, so far so good. Well, what I wanna do now, guys, is take another can of Coke and put it inside this larger can of chips. All the way down, and see, it's in there now. Before I put some chips back in there, guys, I'm gonna take some Oreos and actually put them in there. So I'm gonna take this out. And I'm only gonna take about half of these Oreos, so I'm gonna cut the packaging in half. So this will do. So in it goes, and now that just leaves me enough space for my chips. So I'm gonna take a stack of these and put them inside. 
And if you guys can put some crumpled up pieces in there, even better, that way you can fit more chips in there. And that amount works for me. These I will save for when I come back from the movies. Now I can put the cap back on there, pop it in, and that's it guys. I have a drink in there, I have my chips, and I have some dessert, which are the Oreos. Now let's take them into the movie theater. Let's go. Once you get to the movie theater, take out your chips. Oh, it's not just the chips. You got Oreos and a can of soda in there, but that's it guys. Remove your chips, put them on the cap if you need to, and put this on the cup holder. Take out your Oreos, and to wash everything down, you got your can of Coke. So you can fit all these snacks into this can and sneak the whole thing into the movies without getting caught. So in the long run, guys, you end up saving a bunch of money because this was only a dollar. This came from a box that was $3 and there was 10 of them in there. And this was a few cents, guys, and the Oreos were a dollar, but I took half. You know what, guys? It does not matter. I don't want to do the math. All I'm saying is that you guys will save a ton of money if you sneak your own snacks into the movies. What I have right here is a cane, guys, and a lot of people use these because usually they're either disabled or they're injured. But I have this one laying around, so I'm going to try to use it to my advantage and try to sneak some candy into the movies. Now, I don't know about the movie theater you guys go to, but if you were to buy a bag like this one, it would probably cost you around five to six dollars. We want to avoid those prices, so luckily I still have some Halloween candy left. Now, this type of candy is actually thin because it can't be too big as we are going to try to stash it inside this cane. Now, this cane is adjustable in height, so basically what that means is that you can adjust it to your size. I have it at the shortest length right now, but the longer it is, the more candy you can stash in there. For example, let's take a look at this one right here. If I pull it out, guys, it will divide into two pieces. See? There's two pieces to this. Now, on the larger, wider one, we are going to put our candy in there. It might get a little snug in there, so I recommend that you guys get a string like this one and tie the string onto one of the pieces of candy. For example, this one right here, I'm going to tie it on there on one end, and this will be the first piece that goes inside the cane. See, guys? It fits in perfectly. And now, I have the other end of the string sticking out. So, I'm going to keep adding more candy in there. As much as I can fit inside. Okay, that'll do, guys. And now, I can put the other piece of the cane back on and make sure that the string is still sticking out. So, let's push it back in. And now, with the string sticking out, it's probably going to be a little bit suspicious. So, try to trim it off a little bit, but not all the way, guys. And if you need to, tie a knot on there so that it doesn't go in any further. So, now you can walk into the movie theater with this. And if you act injured, they shouldn't really question you. Once you get into the auditorium that you're supposed to be in, you simply just undo both pieces. And you should be able to take out your candy. See, if you pull on the string, candy starts to come out. So if you want to put more candy in there, please do so. I was only able to put this amount in there. If you have a wider cane, then definitely try to get more bigger candy in there. But this will do for now. Now, this video is about saving money, guys. I want to save you as much money as possible when you guys go to the movies. Now, if you do go and you must spend money on soda, I recommend that you guys get a loyalty cup from that movie theater. That pretty much means that you buy the cup. It might be a little bit expensive at first, but in the long run, you can get cheaper refills and you'll end up saving money throughout the year. For example, this one right here is from 2018. It expires on December 31st and it starts January 1st. So, I recommend that you guys actually buy these at the beginning of the year, especially if you tend to go to the movies a lot. But anyway, that's not the tip here. So, if you walk into the movie theater with one of the loyalty cups, they shouldn't really suspect anything because it is normal because you did buy it from there. And I've shown you before that you guys can actually put some stuff in there. So, let's do that again. And I really like these Chips Ahoy's that come in this little cup. So, to sneak these into the movie theater, all you have to do is to get these from Walmart for about a dollar and just put them in there inside your loyalty cup. Now, if you were to walk into the movie theater, whoever takes the tickets might actually see that. We don't want that. So, 
when you walk into the movie theater, you flip it upside down like so. So you'll walk around like this, and this will be their view in a way. With your fingers, you're holding the cup underneath so it does not fall down. So you can easily get in there, and once you get into the movie theater, you can take this out, save it for later, and go get a refill, and you'll have some snacks and a drink to accompany you during the movie. See how simple it is to sneak cheaper snacks into the movies? If you try these out, you will definitely save a lot of money every time you go to the movies. Now guys, at the start of this video, I did announce a new giveaway. Once this video hits 10,000 likes, I will give away a Nintendo Switch to someone in the comments. And to participate, all you have to do is like and comment on this video. Simple as that. Whoever wins this Nintendo Switch will get it before Christmas. Good luck guys, I'll see you pranksters in my next video.